Hi. Uh, my thought for the day is actually one that I've stolen from uh, Spurgeon, who um, lived a while ago and his language is a bit old fashioned, but I really like him. I like uh, reading the things that he's written and um, in his little book, Morning and Evening, uh, he's got a little devotion each day, uh, one for the morning and one for the evening and uh, he'll quote at the top a verse from the Bible or a part of a verse and then he'll write something um, and I was reading this a week or so ago um, when he quoted from Genesis 9 15 uh, when after Noah and, and the animals and his family had come out of the ark after the great flood which had destroyed the earth God said he would uh, make a rainbow um, and we've heard a lot of talk about rainbows lately, but God was the one who first made the rainbow and said what it was for. And it was, um, whenever it rained, he said he put the rainbow in the sky and he said, when I look on it, I will remember my covenant, which he was making with Noah then, that I will not destroy the earth. Um, and what struck me about this, as Spurgeon says, is that God didn't say um, it's not my it, he didn't say I had to look at it and I had to remember what he said was I God says I will look at it and I will remember so it's not my remembering God it's God's remembering me which is the ground of my safety which is glorious and much safer than trusting it to me because I can't be trusted to remember anything especially these days and he also quotes uh, from uh, the story in the Bible, the true story in the Bible of when the people of Israel came out of Egypt and God had told them to put blood, the blood of the sacrificial lamb, the Passover lamb on the doorposts. And then the Lord said, well, the Lord did not say, when you see the blood, I will pass over you. But God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. So again, God was not leaving it up to the Israelites to make sure that they looked at the blood. They had to put the blood on the doorposts, but after that it was not relying on them remembering it, that then God would keep his promise. But he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. So Spurgeon says, my looking to Jesus brings me joy and peace, but it's God's looking to Jesus which secures my salvation and you, or yours if you're saved as well um, it's impossible for God for our God to look at Christ who bled for our sins and then to be angry with us for sins that have already been punished in Christ no it's not left with us even to be saved by remembering the covenant it's not of man and neither by man but of the Lord alone we should remember the covenant and we shall do it and we'll give glory to God but we don't have to do it in order to be saved the important thing is that it's God remembering it's God looking at the sacrifice that Christ gave on Calvary it's God looking at the rainbow it's God looking and remembering and saving and bringing us to heaven I can't do anything I can't save myself I can't bring myself to heaven and maybe as I get older, I'll become demented. Maybe I will have dementia. Maybe I won't remember even my own name or anything like that. And maybe I won't remember that Christ died for me. But it doesn't matter because God will remember. And God will still save me, even if I haven't a clue what's going on in this life. And he will bring me to heaven. And I'm just so thankful that not only am I saved by grace, I'm kept by grace. It's all of God and it's not of me and we can praise him for that it's wonderful it's wonderful when i see the bow in the in the sky i will remember my covenant when i see the blood i will pass over you and god says when i see christ hanging on the cross knowing that you've asked for forgiveness of your sins i will remember and i will save you and i will bring you through and we praise him for that it's a glorious gospel and a glorious god